Hey, AV programmers. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Simple Sharp to make a library that you could use in Simple Windows. Uh, we're just going to make a template that doesn't really do anything, but you'll be able to use this over and over to write different libraries to do things. And then I'm going to make a few more videos that will take all of this someplace really cool. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do here is just create a folder somewhere. Uh, I'm going to say new folder <clears throat> and I'm just going to call it test. Then I'm going to open up Visual Studio. And if you don't have a copy of that, uh, I'll put a link under this video so you can see where to get it. So this opened on my second screen. Let me pull this over. And then we're going to say file new project. And we're going to select simple sharp library. Okay. Very important. Simple sharp pro library and simple sharp pro will only work in visual studio. We want to write something that we could use in simple windows. So we'll need to say simple sharp library. And then I'm going to browse here to that folder I just created to keep everything nice and neat. Let me find that here. And I called that test. Great. Very good. So I'll select that folder. I'm just going to leave these names. You could change the name if you want. It'll create a new folder for all of this visual studio stuff inside this folder. And I'm going to leave that checked <clears throat> to keep everything nice and organized. So we'll say, okay. And then we'll get a nice little template here for our simple sharp library. And you can see the namespace is the same name as the file. So that's fine. I'm going to leave it as it is. But when, if you make, and here's our first class, right? And if you make more classes, they'll all need to be under the same namespace so that when you import this library, all of those classes will be available. Now, as, as we get more into it, some of that may make more sense, but don't get too worried if it doesn't at the moment, just keep moving along. So we've got something here called class one. We could change this. I'll call it test class. You could name it whatever you want. And we're going to get rid of this here for now. So what this is, is a constructor, but it's telling you right here that the constructor won't work. So we're just going to delete all this jazz. And actually right now we're going to compile this. So you say build and build solution or just hit F6 and that should build for you. Now, the reason why we don't have anything in here now is because we want to test um, the entire chain first. So we're going to write a simple plus module now, and then we're going to put that simple plus module in a simple windows program, uh, so that we can make sure everything works before we get too deep into the code. So let's go over to a simple plus editor and, and then here we'll just say file new and create a new simple plus module. And here's where things start to get tricky. So let's just go through it step by step. And of course, I've got something open here on a second screen screen to, uh, to help me along. So what we want to do here is first, we want to include the library that we just created, right? So under here, under include libraries, first, we're going to include the path. So we'll say pound sign and it's include path. And now we need to enter the path there in quotes. And what we'll do to make our lives nice and easy, we'll go back to where our folder is. And here's the library that was created. We'll go in there and here's the solution, right? When we open that, then we open up the whole project, but we want the compiled version. We want the builds. So we'll go into our folder and in the bin, the binaries, and then in debug and somewhere in here, that's what we want to reference. That's where our library is. So I'm going to right click on that and go to properties. And here I've got my whole file path. So I'll just put my cursor right there at the beginning and say shift page down and I'll copy that whole thing. So I'll just copy that and then I'll go back into simple plus and I'll paste that right inside here, inside those quotes. And we need to add double backslashes. So for every backslash, just add another one. And then you've got the path for where your library is. It's not the library itself. It's just the include path. 
So underneath there, now we need to say pound sign, user underscore simple sharp underscore library. And then in double quotes, then we'll actually put the library name. So just to make sure everything is perfect, I'm going to go back to that folder and I'm actually going to copy the entire name just so I can't make any mistakes. If you get anything wrong here, uh, you can pull your hair out <laughs> trying to find out where things went wrong. So just take your time. I really like to use copy paste so I make sure I've got everything named properly and copied properly. So now we've got an include path and the library included too. So now I'm gonna save this and then we'll be able to compile it. And if it compiles, then we know that, uh, that everything's hooked up properly, that we're referencing everything correctly. And I'm gonna put it, sorry, right inside this test folder and I'm just gonna call this test as well. Save, hit compile and we see that we've got an error here. So what's the error? The error is because I included the file extension. So let's just remove that and compile again and everything should look good. Great, so I really encourage you to uh, get this far before you start adding any code because setting up these include paths and the library, it can be a, a cause of trouble. So if you don't have any code, you could rule all that out, just, just set this up first. And there are other ways of handling it, but this is the easiest and most straightforward way, so I would definitely recommend trying this out first before you try anything else.